The arts of the Philippines reflect a society with diverse cultural influences and traditions. The Malayan peoples had early contact with traders who introduced Chinese and Indian influences. Islamic influences were first introduced in the southern part of the country. Then foreign rule also infused various elements under Spain and later the United States. While drawing on Western forms, however, the works of Filipino painters, writers and musicians are imbued with distinctly Philippine themes. By expressing the cultural richness of the archipelago in all its diversity, Filipino artists have helped to shape a sense of national identity. But how do we preserve what is truly Filipino? And how do we pass on this heritage? Let's briefly explore our heritage of arts right here on Dynamic Living. Welcome to Dynamic Living, The Total You, our dear viewers and listeners over the radio. We are actually very much honored to have with us in the studio somebody who is very much into the values formation and the culture and arts. How can it impact our young generation and the young people as a whole? Let's welcome Miss Pauline Angela S. Bautista. She's a ma she has a master's in values education, a bachelor's of science in home economics, She's actually a values educator, a home economist, and best of all, according to her, she's a homemaker. Magandang araw po sa iyo, Miss Pauline. Magandang araw, Doctora. Yes. Heto, Miss Pauline, eh, nakakatuwa ano, kasi pag sinabi nating values education, pag sinabi nating kultura, eh, pwede ba nating hindi siya pagsabayin o kailangan eh, magkakasama siya? Napakagandang tanong niyan, Doktora. So, ang values, nakapasok yan sa kultura. Mm -hmm. Kung gagawa ka ng framework, yung kultura, okay, is actually, um, pwedeng pag-usapan in terms of four words. Mm -hmm. Worldview, mindsets, mm -hmm. values, and behavior. Nakuha right. ko yan sa aking humanities class. Mm -hmm. Oo. So, ang values is what we... Um, use as a basis of our decisions. Mm -hmm. How we act, how we don't act. Mm -hmm. Why we do certain things, why we don't do certain things. And that is what manifests in behavior. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. And pag sinabi niyo pong values na sinabi po ninyo, eh, just to reiterate na, it will actually, you know, be the driving force. No? Parang driven ka based on the values that you have. Mm -hmm. So ngayon naman, Ma'am Pauline, eh, pag sinabi natin kultura, ano mm -hmm. po ba ang ibig sabihin natin? Does it just you know, encompass one aspect of arts or heto ay kabuuhan din? A another very interesting question, no? Kasi yung art is a way that we also express our mm -hmm. culture, mm -hmm. right? So kunyari, um, what is art? It is the way that human beings organize elements, mm -hmm. what we see, what we hear, what we taste, what we feel, mm -hmm. so that other human beings can also mm -hmm. organize it. Mm -hmm. So in a way, it's very, very universal. Pero yung pananaw kung ano ang maganda, ano ang masarap, ano ang masarap pakinggan, yun yung iba-iba, mm -hmm. depende sa kultura mm -hmm. ng mga communities or ng mga societies. Opo, uh -oh. ibig sabihin, what varies now is how one would perceive what is being seen or heard, di po ba, or listened to. Mm -hmm. eh, Miss Pauline, eh, pag sinabi po natin itong ating, when we talk about heritage, di po ba, this is something that we would want the future generations following us, mm -hmm. or kahit na tayo ngayon na nandito, kung ano yung mga inilagay ng ating mga ninuno, di po ba? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh. Actually, heritage is ano yung pinapasa-pasa from one generation to another, di ba? Tapos, minsan, pati sa school, sa education, pinapasok dahil mm -hmm. napakahalaga mm -hmm. sa self-concept ng isang tao mm -hmm. na alam kung saan siya nanggaling at bakit siya nandito. Mm -hmm. So, ang values na Pilipino, for example, makikita natin yan sa ating preference for families. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Gusto natin na ang families ay buo. Tapos, kung hindi man, buo ang pamilya, meron support group mm -hmm. that becomes the family also, right? Tapos, saan pa ba? Sa respect for elders, napakalaking bagay yan sa ating values as a uh, culture. At heto po na mga thoughts na sinasabi niyo po, like family, like about the support system, lahat po ito ay eh, naka-embody sa atin po mga kultura, di po ba? And this can actually be, you know, shown or showcased the, through various arts and artworks, di po ba? Yes, exactly. And ako, particularly, I like um, music mm -hmm. that reflects Filipino values. That, that is uh, what I do. Mm -hmm. um, although my major units sa college are interior design, I also believe in that. Ano, mm -hmm. na kung ano yung nakikita ng isang tao sa kapaligiran niya, nag influence din sa kanyang values. So, mm -hmm. kung nakikita niya yung harmony, kung mm -hmm. nakikita niya yung organization, yung order, napakalaking bagay niyan sa kanyang values formation. Mm -hmm. Ang music naman, yung words, di ba? Uh -huh. Ano ang sinasabi ng mga salita uh -huh. ng mga awit? Ito ba ay nakaka-promote ng sense of self-concept na mataas ang tingin ng tao sa sarili niya, uh -huh. magalang ang tingin ng tao sa ibang tao, Uh, meron siyang sense of stewardship sa kanyang environment. Itong namang mga elements na ito ay mapapasok din sa awit at lalo stories. Na po, yeah, lalo na Miss Pauline these days, no, we notice that there is this parang the passion for patriotism, di po ba? Parang lahat ng mga kabataan ngayon, kahit na nga tayo ngayon sa edad natin, eh, kailangan siguro isa yan sa values na isasali natin ulit. You know, to be patriotic, to love our country and to what, what, what we have, di po ba? Oh, oh, and the best way to introduce love of country would be through the senses, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, kung yung mga bata na titikman nila kung ano yung mga pagkain na Pilipino, mm -hmm. mga prutas na Pilipino, mm -hmm. di ba? Mga dishes na Pilipino, yun ang sense na ako mm -hmm. ay Pilipino sa architecture. Then, mm -hmm. yung mga bahay na ang design parang inspired by the bahay kubo, di ba? Napaka ang dami-daming ways by which being Filipino can enter our senses. Pero ang importante, when we talk about arts, when we talk about culture, ito kasi yung mga konkretong aspeto na pumapasok sa atin para at maging part yung, ng values. At ito yung nakikita natin, di ba? Exactly, ito so, yung nakikita. So, very concrete siya eh. Exactly. Nadadama, natitikman, mm -hmm. nararamdaman. Mm -hmm. oh -oh. Miss Pauline, eh, bakit kaya kailangan-kailangan na ang ating mga kabataan, sa paniniwala mo ba, being a values educator, eh, pupuntahan natin, kasi the, from the very basics ito eh. Ito bang mga kabataan natin ngayon, may pagkakaiba ba sila sa like 20, 30, 40 years ago na generation in terms of the way they embrace our heritage, the culture, our arts, and the love of it? Maganda yung question mo kasi yung 20 or 30 years ago tayo, tayo yun, mm -hmm. di ba? Tapos yung ngayon yung mga anak natin, yes, right? Yes, that's true. Um, ang nakikita ko lang is mas aware sila. Mm -hmm. Mas aware sila talaga. Um, if I compare the way I was when I was... Um, a young adult to the way my children are now. Mas meron silang sense of Filipino. Mm -hmm. Mas meron silang sense, for example, na itong design na to is indigenously Filipino. Mm -hmm. Meron. Nakikita ko yon, And I think that's very good for our heritage. Mm -hmm. It's also good for the um, indigenous industries. Diba? Uh, yeah, Weaving, uh -huh. nagiging popular na ngayon. But the music, yung um, indigenous elements na nasa musika, mm -hmm. Andun din. Oo. So, ibig sabihin, eh, mas yung awareness nila andun na. Plus, the fact siguro na tayong mga magulang ngayon, we are also there to guide and help them na appreciate all of these things. Yes, actually, I really feel that um, itong time na to, mas aware tayo. Siguro in the 1980s, na introduce yung mga concepts mm -hmm. na yon, yung what is indigenous, what is lumad. Mm -hmm. Pero ngayon, I think because also of what our government has done ano, through the NCCA, mm -hmm. through DepEd, mas merong awareness at mas merong experience mm -hmm. of what it is to know Philippine culture, to know Philippine arts, to know mm -hmm. Philippine music. And uh, since you mentioned the DepEd and the government, heto, yung ating NCCA, no? so uh, do you feel, Miss Paulina, 
tama na yung ginagawa natin ngayon and we are on the right track or is there something else na pwede pang gawin para pa ma-enhance pa itong inyong mga ginagawa for awareness? I think the institutions are there, the policies are there, the laws are there. Pero what's important lang is I think the way that we train mm -hmm. our teachers, our cultural w workers, and mm -hmm. that doesn't mean just training but also paghubog ng kanilang consciousness mm -hmm. about how to impart the consciousness of being a whole person, being in harmony with the world from the lens of a Filipino. Mm -hmm. I think yun yung mahalaga na papaano ba yun, di ba? Kasi madaming policies, pero paano mo yan translate into 40,000 barangays, mm -hmm. schools, you know, parang, wow, mm -hmm. it might get lost in the translation. So, yung training in the grassroots, mm -hmm. napakahalaga din. And so that means na yung ating mga educators, from the very start of it, in other words, yung mga nagtuturo sa atin, lalo na sa K-12 ngayon na programs, yung mga malilingit natin ng mga kabataan, yung ating mga educators should be properly uh, guided also and sila mismo should have that passion in them. Kasi, Miss Pauline, kahit na andyan lahat yan, tinuro na sa libro. Di po ba? Kayo, mm -hmm. pag nag-aaral para maging guru kayo, tinuturo naman talaga. That's part of it. Eh. Pero the passion siguro, the inner desire also mm -hmm. to be going beyond that. Mm -hmm. Yun yung sinasabi natin, beyond the box. Mm -hmm. So that you can translate it. It's very important. Yes, and you know what triggers that passion is the experience. Mm -hmm. For example, many, many years ago, we met a teacher na part of the curriculum was learning about the kulintang. Mm -hmm. This was in the north. Pero she was telling us, hindi pa siya nakakakita ng totoong kulintang. So, sa classroom, ang pinapakita lang pictures. Mm -hmm. Pero ngayon, hindi na, mas, hindi na mas aware na tayo na kung gusto mo mag-aral ang bata ng Philippine music, kailangan meron siyang nadarama, mm -hmm. meron siyang nakikita, meron siyang nasusubukan. In other words, napaka-konkreto. Mm -hmm. As a doctor, you know that. Yes. Diba? What enters the senses is what becomes part of the mind and is what forms the values. At saka, pag, ang mga kabataan kasi, pag sila mismo ay nahawakan nila yung instrumento exactly. na yan. Ang ganda ng tunog. You don't even have to teach values mm -hmm. appreciation. Parinig mo lang. Okay na, di ba? Mm -hmm. They will already feel that, mm -hmm. wow, what is this? And then they, they themselves will actually be interested mm -hmm. to learn about it more. So, ibig sabihin, eh, with that, the most effective way then of being able to translate all of this to our young people would still be the experience oh, and, yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The experience, you know, the experience of singing a song, the mm -hmm. experience of recreating music, the experience of creating their own mm -hmm. music, expressing their own thoughts into mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to your your studies when you were a student up to the time that you developed you know and uh, you became a teacher mm -hmm. a values formation professor at that uh, would you say that there was what would be the differences between the time your time mm -hmm. up to the time that you became now an educator i like that question because i was actually contemplating on that ano ba yung nag change and i think honestly parang mas western yung mindset natin noon mm -hmm. Parang ngayon mas aware na tayo na hindi naman natin kailangan kunin lahat ng nababasa natin mm -hmm. sa libro. Kailangan kumuha din tayo dun sa mga na-experience natin from reality. Mm -hmm. At yun ang i-share natin, yun ang i-pass on natin. No? Bakit mo napili, Miss Pauline, na you know, you can easily choose anything else. Mm -hmm. Like even when you took up your master's, you could easily, you know, focus on something else and uh, maybe leave the country, work somewhere else uh, with your with your talents and everything. But why choose this specific uh, course or, you know, na pinili mo talaga? Because by the time I did my master's, I was already a housewife and mm -hmm. I would bring my children to school mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. So yung time na iyahatid mo yung mga bata hanggang sa susunduin mo sila, yun yung time na ginamit ko to study. Mm -hmm. And values education, I figured I would really use it as a mom. Mm -hmm. Because one of the most important legacies that we can really leave our children is a sense of why they are here and why they make certain decisions. Mm -hmm. And for me, that is values education. Ibig sabihin now, uh, you're telling our viewers na, heto, you are translating in actual life, kumbaga kung ano yung pinag-aralan mo, ano yung gusto mong marating, at saan mo gusto patutungo, yung sarili mo at ang mga kapatan. You have translated that successfully to your own family. 
I hope so. <laughs> you can ask my kids, but I think, I think, I don't know. I think the measure no, of uh -huh. a teacher, of a mom, is if the people you are trying to form mm -hmm. are happy with who they are, know how to manage themselves, know how to deal with the conflicts in their life, maintain harmony and balance, mm -hmm. then I think that would be success, uh -huh. ba? <laughs> yes. Actually, yan yung dream natin, mga magulang, eh, di ba? So your vision for the culture and arts of the Philippines? I would like to see more Filipino fabrics being woven. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see the indigenous um, weaving industries come really, really alive. For example, interiors, I would like to see um, really more Filipino baskets, more Filipino fabric, more Filipino elements, because that also means that we are sustaining Filipino mm -hmm. industries. So there's a practical <laughs> sense to that. Yeah, Miss Pauline, pag sinabi mong heto mga designs and ano, eh, kahit na yung mga handbags, kahit siguro yung mga damit natin, dapat di ba naka-integrate doon yung ating kultura? Ako nga yung dream ko is yung depth. And ito kaibigan ko, si Norma Leogoren, who was very active in mm -hmm. the fabric industry. Ang vision niya is lahat ng DepEd schools sa bawat region, merong elements ng indigenous textiles doon sa region mm -hmm. na yon. Kahit sa kwelyo lang, mm -hmm. you know, or sa botones. Can you imagine, mabubuha yung buong textile industry ng indigenous groups? Yes. At saka hindi, makikita mo na napakaganda pala. Kasi ang yun na nga sinabi mo kanina, eh, minsan meron tayong colonial mentalities na kung baga, eh, mas maganda yung gawa sa ibang bansa o kaya yung mga disenyo galing doon. Pero when you really look at the Philippine culture, napakaganda at napakayaman eh. Actually, oh, I think yung colonial mentality naman, it's not naman something that we should um, put down. No? Mm -hmm. It's just that sa education natin, napaka-Western, syempre, ma-appreciate natin kung ano yung tinuturo sa mm -hmm. atin. So, if it's a Western lens, di ma-appreciate natin yung Western design, mm -hmm. right? Pero from a very practical viewpoint, kasi nga home economist ako, if we appreciate what is local, then we patronize what is local. Mm -hmm. Nabubuha yung local industries. So, yung mga tao na empleyado or merong local industries, pati sila masusustain. Mm -hmm. So, yung buong country natin masusustain because we appreciate what is local. Mm -hmm. In other words, Miss Pauline, eh, malaki ang impact nito. Eh. Just the mere fact na i-appreciate mo, you apply it, and then you do it, you translate it, you use it. You use uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. So, kung baga lahat yan, eh, parang isa, it's a cycle eh, na kung baga para mabuhay lahat tayo. Exactly, di ba? Uh -huh. And it begins with valuing what we have uh -huh. para mabuhay ito. Yun naman yun eh. Kultura natin, Buhayin lang natin mm -hmm. in everyday practice. Napaka-abstract words actually, mm -hmm. pero when you look at it in terms of daily life, they're very ordinary things Now mm -hmm. we just have to keep on doing it. And what is the point? Diba? When you think about it, what is the point? Ito nga, ganda dynamic living. Mm -hmm. What is the point? That we are all going to have creative and sustainable lives. Mm -hmm. the, parang, the ultimate of being human is that we can practice what we believe in in order to help others mm -hmm. and to build our own lives. Diba? You know, and so we build the world that way, right? Uh -huh. Yan yung tinatawag natin na totality of a person. Yes. You're looking at it in a holistic manner para right. lahat yan mabubuhay. Mm -hmm. What are the challenges that, you know, you as a values formation educator and you being so passionate and actively involved in the culture and arts, uh, the challenges that you are still faced with and your group okay well my group mm -hmm. my group I, I, let me describe my yes. group so um the group that i belong to when it comes to this advocacy is bagong lumad artist mm -hmm. foundation inc it's a it's a group that was set up by joey ayala almost 30 years ago in 1988 mm -hmm. and so we have some books that are downloadable online and what it is is that we try to impart we try to um share values using the arts and music mm -hmm. okay and so i think um the challenges lang are that when people invite us to share um the experiences that we have designed for values formation through music and arts 
the challenge is always to put the logistics together. Mm-hmm. So far naman, so good. Okay. Uh-oh. So, sino-sino mga members nito, Miss Pauline, or who can join you? Like, for example, those who are watching us are very, you know, passionate also with what you're doing. And how, how would they be able to connect with you? Maybe can they join you? Can mm-hmm. they join the organization and help out also? Because right now, we say that, okay, we're trying to evolve culture. Mm-hmm. Diba? And siguro you can say that the people we have shared our workshops with are the um, informal members. And then we love it when we get feedback that they're also sharing the experiences mm-hmm. with other people. So siguro yun na yung membership. Although we have a board, we're an active board, so mm-hmm. we volunteer. Um, we don't have staff kasi nga we don't want to be saddled with having to <coughs> keep on writing proposals mm-hmm. just to make sure that mm-hmm you know, we can sustain the lives of our staff. So mm-hmm. what we have are volunteers to keep the admin going. Mm-hmm. And then as we need people to work with us for workshops, we professionally employ artists, mm-hmm. musici- musicians. So yeah. ang galing naman, no, ng inyong concept. Kung baga, eh, this is something na anybody can actually be part of it when they... Uh, you know, become part of you when you do your your informal meetings and trying to train them so that they would be able to translate it also to where they are. Yes, mm-hmm. although our, our trainings are informal in the sense that they don't necessarily happen in classroom, mm-hmm. they are formal in the sense that they are academically based, they mm-hmm. are based on research, they are based on pilots, mm-hmm. and we have uh, modules mm-hmm. that we create tailor fit uh-huh. to the people who are asking. So we usually ask them, what are your objectives? Mm-hmm. And then we design something. Would you say na in the 30 years na the bagong lumad artists, you know, has been in place, would you say na meron pa kayong dapat marating? Or would you say na, heto, you have reached your peak already in, in the way you handle things, in your vision, and uh, the way you are able to translate what you would want to be translated? I think you should ask Joey that question. <laughs> yeah, we will have him actually in the second <laughs> yeah. part. Okay, <laughs> you should ask Joey but, that question. But on but your, for but me, for, yeah, for, for me, um, we have this book that we published with many, many other authors, and it's called Sining Bayan, mm-hmm. Art Whose Canvas is Society. Wow. And then we have this field book, um, Art of Nation Building. Mm-hmm. So the fact that that is on the web and is accessible to anyone who mm-hmm. wants, including Joey's songs, mm-hmm. by the way, then we feel na okay na, you know, mm-hmm. it, it can go beyond mm-hmm. our lifetime siguro. Uh-huh. But for the next step, you'd have to ask Joey since he's <laughs> the one who, who conceptualized but, the whole uh, thing. Pero pa, para sa'yo, Miss Pauline, para sa'yo, um, you, you, do you think na enough na yan? Or what is your legacy? We'll talk about legacies now. Eh. Siyempre, we're not getting any younger. Mm-hmm. And we have already, you know, kumbaga, naplastada naman na lahat yan. You, you have already laid down the groundwork, so to speak. Eh. Pero when you say, look at it 10 years, 20 years, 30 years from today, ano kayang iniisip ni Miss Pauline para sa sarili niya at para sa bayan? Okay. So, 50 ako t- today. I'm 50. Uh-huh. And then 30 years from now, I'll be 80. Mm-hmm. I think based on what I see, I'm happy naman. Mm-hmm. Um, when my students give me feedback about what they're doing, mm-hmm. talagang super, di ba? And mm-hmm. even people who participated in workshops, mm-hmm. including your producer, yes, right? Yes, opo. <laughs> yeah. Kaya nga namin so kayo na, na nakilala eh, because Uh-oh. of this. Our yes. alumni. Yes. So, yes. so um, sa ano yan, Batang Transformers mm-hmm. Peace Camp naman. That's our work with Tatay mm-hmm. Nene Pimentel. Um, I'm very happy in the sense that I feel that people are more aware of values, mm-hmm. maybe partly through our workshops. People who have encountered these creative experiences mm-hmm. are more able to identify mm-hmm. their goals and are more able to plan towards achieving mm-hmm. those goals. And for me, when human beings realize that they are capable of determining themselves, mm-hmm. setting goals, and actually accomplishing them. For me, that's fulfillment. Uh-huh. But I always say nga, work hard, pray hard. Uh-huh. You so, know? magkasama palagi yon. Always. Uh-huh. In fact, the anchor of my day is prayer. Uh-huh. So, dapat naman ganun talaga tayo. Lalong-lalo na sa mga panahon na to, when it is so challenging, nothing beats, you know, being on your knees and praying, di po ba? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And, you know, faith mm-hmm. is very much part of Filipino culture, yes. Filipino mm-hmm. values. So, Miss Pauline, eh, yung ating mga 
kababayan who are in the educators, in the education, no? Mm -hmm. Sa tingin niyo ba, Miss Pauline, eh, ano pa kaya ang pwedeng gawin para, you know, mas maging maganda pa ang kanilang, the way they would train the students? Kasi ganito yan, eh. The students, our children, values. Mm -hmm. That's the most important aspect mm -hmm. that actually begins in the homes. Eh. But the second families are in the schools. Mm -hmm. And so, kaya ganun kahalaga ang ating mga educators. Eh. Mm -hmm. Sa palagay mo, eh, meron pang pwede silang marating mm -hmm. upang they can be maximized to the fullest potential mm -hmm. and be able to translate that to the young people. Kasi tanda natin, itong mga kabataan natin, sila talaga yung ating future. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, dapat as early as now, alam na natin yan para sila mag-guide natin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, ang teachers ang culture builders, di ba? Mm, yes. Tama. For the for me, they are the heroes. Actually, mm -hmm. modern day heroes. And I think what is important to remember as a teacher is you can only give what you have, mm -hmm. di ba? And if you sabi nga ni Lord is karanang the most important thing we can pass on to the Filipino child is a sense of positive sense of self. Mm -hmm. So I think if all teachers wanted to pass that on, we have to make sure that each of them has it mm -hmm. already. And what is that built on, right? A sense of accomplishment and a sense of acceptance. Mm -hmm. Pag mo yon. So if we were always just helping each other to find their goals, affirm themselves on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, in the classroom, when a child leaves class, I think that child should be happy. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I think homework should also help to build homes. Mm -hmm. Homework should be le relevant to values formation also. Tama yan, ang mga sinasabi mo, Miss Pauline, naniniwala din ako niyan, na dapat, eh, hindi yung homework na pabigat pagdating ng bahay, no more time for the family. Yeah, di ba? I really believe uh -huh. that. Oh, At saka oh. tama din yan, na pag alis ng ating mga students, masaya sila, hindi mm -hmm. yung umiiyak. Right. At nakakunot yung mga no, ang exactly. babata pa. Yeah, kasi matatalino naman tayong mm -hmm. lahat. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of adjusting what we teach and how we teach mm -hmm. para maintindihan ng mga tinuturuan natin yung gusto nating i-share. Mm -hmm. And everything also will all go back to values, di ba? Absolutely. So, yeah, so Miss Pauline, thank you so much for joining us. We will have Joey Ayala sometime also so that he would be able to answer the other questions. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what is your message of hope to our viewers, please? Okay, our, my message of hope to our viewers would be believe in yourself and believe in your creator. Mm -hmm. So, you know, do your best and pray your best mm -hmm. every day and it will work out. Yes, we will call, be right back after this short break. Please stay tuned. Uh, masabi ko na, ano, Pilipino kapag, ka, siyempre, unang-una, Tagalog. Tapos yung message ng awit, eh, para sa mga Pilipino, siyempre. Uh, of course, dapat uh, ang artist natin, Pilipino. Um, it doesn't matter kung English yung gagamitin yung language or Tagalog. Kung Pilipino naman yung artist, so masasabi kung, kung art na yun or music is OPM pa rin. Siguro sa language. Mm -mm. Tsaka siguro sa kumanta, kung OPM ba or ano, yun ba tam. The arts of the Philippines reflect a society with diverse cultural influences and traditions. The Malayan peoples had early contact with traders who introduced Chinese and Indian influences. Islamic influences were first introduced in the southern part of the country. Then foreign rule also infused various elements under Spain and later, the United States. While drawing on Western forms, however, the works of Filipino painters, writers, and musicians are imbued with distinctly Philippine themes. By expressing the cultural richness of the archipelago in all its diversity, Filipino artists have helped to shape a sense of national identity. But how do we preserve what is truly Filipino? And how do we pass on this heritage? Let's briefly explore our heritage of arts right here on Dynamic Living.
Welcome back to Dynamic Living, the Total You, our dear viewers and listeners. A while back, we had, you know, Miss Pauline Bautista discussing with us her vision as well as her advocacy in order to enhance and to improve further the, the need as well as to encourage the young people to appreciate the, our history as well as our culture and arts. At ngayon naman po, andi dito tayo sa studio. Kasama din po natin ang isang professor, Myla Baldemore Balde, who is actually a visual artist. Professor, welcome po. At saka isa po eh, kayo po ay yung mga magulang ninyo, specifically your father, is an artist po. So you grew up in that, you know, environment. So masasabi po ba natin na big ano siya um, impact on you for you choosing where you are now? Actually, first of all, I wanted to thank um, the Dynamic Living for inviting me here. Mm -hmm. And then regarding your questions, yes, there's a big impact mm -hmm. for me uh, regarding my dad. Uh, Without him, hindi ako po sa arts. Mm -hmm. Since ever since I was small, uh, we were exposed mm -hmm. into the arts. Since tatlo kami, so we learn how to identify colors, use or paint them, mm -hmm. rather than writing words or letters. Mm -hmm. Kaya talagang malaking influence talaga mm -hmm. ang art sa amin. It's a part of our lives mm -hmm. right Pero minsan, now. Professor, you'll be surprised ha. May mga kabataan na lumaki sa ganong situation or environment. And yet, they, they don't, you know, really are able to go out and be like kung ano yung environment nila eh. Kayo po ba, et, sa lahat kayo magkakapatid are also into the arts? Yes, all mm -hmm. of us. Because I think we have the passion for it. Mm -hmm. we, were, we were born and there's this what we call support mm -hmm. by the parents. So ever since, since we are, the Baldemars are from Laguna, mm -hmm. so talagang exposed na exposed kami. So mm -hmm. that's our a way of living. Mm -hmm. Doon sa arts talaga kami nabuhay. Mm -hmm. So it's a big impact for us. And uh, would you say also, Professor, na kasi if, if you go over the, the works of your father, eh, makikita natin na ang kanyang pa passion is more of the depiction of rural life, parang countryside and culture yung kanya eh. Mm -mm. Masasabi din ba natin, Professor, na sa inyo, eh, ganun din ang inyong, you know, that's how you do also your, your arts. Actually, to tell you the truth, it's very hard for us, the three of us in the family, to be out of the shadow of our father. Mm -hmm. So, what we do, we cannot, uh, no, we cannot uh, tell or say now we cannot go out of his shadow so what we do we improve ourselves like in the case of my father his painting is about fiestas mm -hmm. philippine culture in my case naman all my works are about nature mm -hmm. and then my brothers naman is about uh illustrations mm -hmm. but lahat sila oh, we started from our father because we were exposed to his art mm -hmm. and then we develop then as time goes by we tend to move you know, we tend to develop our mm -hmm. own style. Does it take really a lot of imagination for you to be able to put into canvas yung, yung mga nakikita sa isipan mo? Oh, syempre po. Mm -hmm. Kailangan inspired ka. And then, good mood, of course. Mm -hmm. Sometimes kasi, in my case, what I believe, painting is like a kind of communication to people. So, what I wanted to say, I paint it. So, mm -hmm. it's, like a, it's like a language, mm -hmm. a message. What I feel... I paint it on canvas, but in my case, since uh, I specialize in watercolor, I love to experiment. I love to explore. Mm -hmm. So tendency, I, you know, I do paintings. Mm -hmm. Na meron siyang emotions. When you say na my emotions is being splashed on the canvas, eh, you don't on a personal level. You don't do your paints when you are, you know, not feeling well or maybe you are emotionally detached. Actually, some, it depends on the, in my case, uh, I paint what I wanted people to know about me. I paint uh, how I feel. So, sometimes I do compositions based on what I see, based on my experiences. Like my dad, he, uh, he taught us, the three of us in the family, we love to travel a lot. Have you ever tried na kumbaga itong canvas na to will depict something else aside from happy moments or moments na you know you're very high and you are so happy and positive? Yeah, actually it depends. Like mm -hmm. before when I was still a student, I started being serious when I was still a student. That's the painting that I uh, painted. 
I showed my emotions in a negative way. Mm -hmm. Not like I'm happy. Uh, I showed during the Mount Pinatubo. Mm -hmm. So I painted it uh, the way I saw and experienced the Mount Pinatubo during that time. So you can see the splashes of the colors is very vibrant, mm -hmm. but in, it's something a bit sad. Mm -hmm. So basically the painting uh, shows my emotions talaga as mm -hmm. an artist. It's like a, uh, it's like a communication mm -hmm. for me. So much has been said na, you know, paintings are actually, you know, parang it, it's something that can come to life eh. Mm -mm. Diba? Meron naman tayong nakikita kami for an ordinary person like me. When I look at a painting, I would be able to say if I can relate to it or not. Or if I can see life to its fullest just looking at it eh. Mm -mm. Totoo po ba yung sinasabi na, you know, a painter you know is like a living canvas that can be seen by all the peoples who are viewing it yes ma'am mm -hmm. it's like pictures also mm -hmm. a picture tells a thousand words mm -hmm. so even though no, there's so many people looking at, looking at the paintings or the pictures it has different meanings to different people mm -hmm. but the point is you can see and learn what the message of the artist wanted to say mm -hmm. so it depends on the interpretation of the viewer mm -hmm. how the viewer sees and interpret the work mm -hmm. of the artist sa inyo pong paglaki at hanggang ngayon na you've developed your own style di mm -hmm. po ba mapapansin niyo po ba na may changes kayo na nag-evolve kayo kasi sometimes we have what we call a evolution or a metamorphosis from this kind of topic, from this kind of image, or from this type of color blending, eh, nagbabago kayo? Actually, yes, of course, all artists, it's like an education, eh. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a process, a uh, continuous process wherein the artist, hindi siya nag-stick lang dun sa style niya. Mm -hmm. He usually, um, he usually compete with himself. So he tends to develop his style. He doesn't want to be to stick on one style. He developed mm -hmm. as a full artist. Even like my dad or some famous artists, they don't want to stick on their artist. They have to challenge themselves mm -hmm. as an artist. So ganun talaga siya. Mm -hmm. Parang it's an education process. Is there such a thing as a gauge by which you your product or the the artist uh, the artistic uh, art that you come up with is there a gauge by which na Kung baga, ano yung kinukonvey mo doon sa iyong ano na may mensahe ka is being taken, you know, by the person who watches or views it? Actually, I think so. Mm -hmm. In my case, since my style developed, before I'm into uh, acrylic or in oil, and then I shifted to watercolor, uh, I think I inspired some people, mm -hmm. like some of my students right now. Uh, they like the way I do my mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a shorter uh, way to say it. Mm -hmm. I inspired them. Mm -hmm. I challenged them also. And then they wanted to know how I did it. Mm -hmm. It's like I become an inspiration for them. Mm -hmm. What was in the principle of your father or the guiding principle that he went by each time he makes a production of his painting or of his art that, you know, really stuck to your mind and, you know, ikaw din, parang sinunod mo rin yung principle na Actually, there's only one principle na really stuck to my mind ever since. It's what we call the passion. Mm -hmm. If you're doing something, like in art, you need to have the passion for it. You have to give everything that you wanted to your artwork. Mm -hmm. Like in an artwork, parang isang painting lang yan eh. Hindi mo siya kayang i-repeat. Mm -hmm. Isa lang siya. So when you finish one work, you cannot duplicate it. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to reproduce it, there's always a little changes. Mm -hmm. So it's not the same thing. So ganun siya. So lahat siya binibigay mo lahat. So what I really learned from my father is when you do something, you have to put your heart into mm -hmm. it. It's like a passion. Mm -hmm. It's like like people gonna tell you do it, but mm -hmm. in your case Gustong gusto mo siya. Mm -hmm. So that's what I always teach my students. Mm -hmm. You have to have passion when you are doing something. Mm -hmm. You have to put yourself into it. Not because we wanted you to do it. It's because you wanted to do it to yourself. Mm -hmm. Pero di po ba, maraming bagay, maraming factors will influence a person to be able to do his art or her art very well. Eh. Mm -hmm. Ano ano po kaya at saan doon na mga factors na yun, if you are to name them, na pinakamahalaga talaga that will help impact the kind of product this particular artist will have? 
actually first is the impact i think it's the family with mm -hmm. the support of the family the experiences the bonding with the family and next one is let's say your environment the philippine yung culture natin mm -hmm. If ever they are exposed with good, good culture, like in the Philippines, we have so many fiestas, mm -hmm. we have good values. I think the artists or the students who are still amateur students or artists, mm -hmm. you can they can create good works mm -hmm. based on those uh, those things that they are uh, they are exposed to. Mm -hmm. It's what we call a uh, good exposure. Mm -hmm. uh, Pero sa inspiration nila. Inspiration nila. Pero uh, kailangan po ba talaga na yung mga magulang o mga ninuno ng isang tao must be artists before one can become one? Like for example, ako, sad to say, I don't even know how to draw, di ba? Pero uh -huh. I have very good eye. I mean, I can, I can spot one that is good or not. I can appreciate really good uh, you know products but uh, if you ask me to do it I would never know how to do it right eh. so do you think na heto kailangan talaga na kumbaga ang bata eh, lumaki kasi parang genetic siya kagaya ng iba sinasabi nila eh. you know it runs in the genes it runs in the families kaya kaya pwedeng ganun ang kanyang mm -hmm. ay actually naririnig ko din siya before like in my case since uh, we are we came from family of artists mm -hmm. uh, it's very challenging for us because sometimes uh sabi nila ah it runs in your genes mm -hmm. and as a blood mo you're exposed not really mm -hmm. it's what we call the passion and it even mm -hmm. though you are born with it but you don't have the passion for it mm -hmm. you cannot do it mm -hmm. but in your case for example you uh, as you said a while ago you cannot draw but i think the way you dress up yourself there's what you call the color combination mm -hmm. the way you look at yourself and fix yourself that's beauty mm -hmm. you can do whatever you want but maybe it's not in drawing but the way you look at the work and mm -hmm. you interpret it it's you are an itself. artist, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero, uh, kanina, Professor, before we started off, you mentioned something na nung araw, ang pagkakaintindi natin sa mga artists are painters, di ba? Yeah. So, we, you, you said that through the years, ngayon, ang tawag sa kanila ay visual artists. Yes, already. visual yes. artists. Before, painters lang. Pag mm -hmm. sinabi, it's very hard for us. Like, mm -hmm. those students who wanted to enroll in painting, take a painting. Mm -hmm. Pag tinagalog mo kasi, pintor. Mm -hmm. Right now, Parang nagpipintura ng bahay. Oo, oh, nagpipintura <laughs> 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 I, we always tell them no right now we call you guys uh, that's how we tell our, our students you are no visual artist not because you're taking a painting mm -hmm. we developed mm -hmm. uh, visual artists it doesn't mean only painting so uh, we teach them for example printmaking mm -hmm. sculpture uh, digital art so jack of all trades na sila. Mm -hmm. So they have uh, choices. So when we say visual artist, hindi lang siya pintor. Pwede siyang maging sculptor. Mm -hmm. Because sa sculptor, pwede ka rin naman magpaint. Mm -hmm. Sa printmaking, pwede ka rin naman magpaint. So marami na siyang choices. Mm -hmm. So he, yun ang binabago na naming notion ngayon. Would you say, uh, Professor, na there's been a change by which the communities have a perception and even parents no, regarding their children wanting to become, you know, to pursue their passion of art? Actually, right now, some of the parents I already talked to, they're very supportive mm -hmm. because they can see there's a future because they love their children, they respect their choices, they support them. Mm -hmm. And I think with the exposure right now in our uh, country, uh, we have so many uh, organizations who are supporting the artists, mm -hmm. like street art, yeah, and dami na ngayon. It's it's very ano, laganap na siya sa Metro Manila. Kasi nung araw, di ba? Ewan ko, kahit ngayon siguro minsan sa mga probinsya, ang lagi sinasabi ng mga magulang pagsabihin ng mga anak nila na I'd like to pursue my career and make a career out of being an artist. Eh, sabihin nila, walang pera dyan. Bakit yan yung kayong kukunin, di ba? I always tell them, even though walang pera dyan, I sabi ko nga sa kanila, when you created the artwork, for example, and then bigla kang sumikat, even though wala ka na, let's say, wala mm -hmm. ka na, yung artwork mo nandiyan pa. Mm -hmm. Everybody will still uh, learn from your work. Mm -hmm. Everybody will remember what you did. And then you created or you donated or you developed something mm -hmm. in the Philippine arts. Parang ganon. So mm -hmm. sabi ko, huwag kang mawawala ng pag-asa. Uh, you have to prove yourself as an artist. So uh, 
sa ngayon, supportive naman ng mga magulang natin. And I think it's developing. Mm -hmm. There are so many people like Filipinos who are really into the arts. Uh, they love to go, um, like they love to see uh, art exhibitions. Mm -hmm. They support the art events. I think right now, it's developing. At saka ang ikinaganda nito, Professor, yung sinasabi mo mga art exhibits na yan. Nung araw, alam ko, mas matanda ako sa inyo eh. So, nung araw, naalala ko, parang bihira natin marinig na, uy, may mga art exhibits. Pero alam mo ngayon, parang kaliwaan, even the malls, even the schools, you get to see art exhibits. Like, for example, during the time na nangyari, yung Sendong, alam mo yun? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yung, yung, it was a big, uh, you know, event, the catastrophe that happened in uh -huh. Region 10. Pero after that event, you can see, you know, there was an exhibit on, yes, uh, on fundraising. fundraising and yes. through the arts. Eh, yes, diba? yes. So, uh -oh. makikita mo yung, yung passion ng mga tao at saka nakoconvey na nila anong gusto nilang mangyari. Yeah. And that is something that we should be proud of. Yes, Kasi uh -oh. parang doon sa art natin, napapakita natin yung pagiging Pilipino natin, mm -hmm. yung bayanihan natin. Yes, uh -oh. mm -hmm. actually, I, I always tell my students, even though you can, you don't notice, you are doing bayanihan already, sabi ko sa kanila. Like fundraising, like that one, small things. Uh, nakikita na natin, nakikita na nila, not like before. It's a good thing the Filipinos right now are developing to appreciate the works of art. Mm -hmm. So, natutuwa nga rin kami kasi nabibigyan din kami ng pagkakataon mm -hmm. na ma-recognize din. So, mm -hmm. medyo yung ano natin sa arts, nakikita yung importansya niya. Mm -hmm. Kasi it's a message. Yes. Kasi uh -oh. naalala ko yung sa Sendong lang, classic example yan, pinortray doon sa various art exhibits na ginawa nila yung mga pagtutulungan, uh -uh. Kung yung mga, yung nangyari talaga. Uh -uh. Up to the up to the point wherein there was, you know, a, a surge of hope again. Yes. Na makikita mo talaga yung, yung nakaayos siya lahat eh. Mm -mm. And what better way to convey a message but through the pictures, yes. di ba, Professor? Mm -mm. Because the pictures, hindi lang naman siya sa mga nakakakita din. Mm -hmm. Some, I told my students, how about yung mga hindi nakakakita? Mm -hmm. We have sculptures. Uh, I think we have projects also for those people who want, who cannot see. Mm -hmm. They're visually impaired. But if they touch the work, like in sculpture, mm -hmm. uh, nakikita rin nila yung message. Not visually, mm -hmm. but by touch. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a sense of touch. Nararamdaman nila ko ano yun nararamdaman ng sculptor mm -hmm. do sa sculpture na ginawa niya. Yung sa mga works ngayon ng mga kabataan, ng mga students ninyo, mm -hmm. uh, mostly, ano yung mga messages na kinukonvey ng kanila mga works today? Actually, uh, it's a Philippine values. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, ating mga landmarks, Philippine mm -hmm. landmarks natin, like yung Bohol, mm -hmm. yung mga Tarshir, may endangered species, indigenous people, yun ang inaano nila, pinapakita nila doon. We have to save them, we have to protect them. Mm -hmm. You can see, like the values in jeepneys, mm -hmm. tayo lang naman ang meron noon eh. Yes, totoo yan. Yes, uh -huh. sabi ko nga sa kanila, it's not because kailangan may bagyo, no. Uh -huh. uh, nakikita nila, everyday life kasi they are exposed. Mm -hmm. So, yun ang mga nakikita ng mga ating mga sudyante na yun. Small things, small ano. Kaso, they have big uh, messages for people. So, and yun ang And itong mga students ninyo ngayon, Professor, eh, kasi you're teaching, of course, uh -huh. and uh, nakikita mo ba na itong mga kabataan na to, the, the values that they are, you know, putting into pictures, you know, yes. that they cannot put into words, is, is at the right path? Or do you believe na may kulang pa at kailangan pa talaga silang, you know, i-guide para marating kung ano yung dapat na marating nila? Actually, um, yung mga students ko, I always challenge them, so, uh, like in competition. Uh, there are so many competitions right now. It's a very good thing for mm -hmm. them because cha uh, they challenge the students, mm -hmm. uh, they challenge themselves. I told them nga, pag nagsali ka ng competition, of course, hindi naman lahat kayo panalo. Mm -hmm. There's one, uh, kailangan talo ka minsan, mm -hmm. and then panalo ka. It's the way of life. And then because of this uh, experiences and nararamdaman nila, they tend to challenge themselves and then they join again. Mm -hmm. And it's a kind of education process din kasi. It's a good thing also mm -hmm. na ganun talaga. So, I think yung students natin ngayon, they are developing and mm -hmm. they are developing fast. Mm -hmm. And they are very challenging also mm -hmm. because they challenge me. That's why I learn from them also. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> uh -oh. So it's a two-way process. I teach them, they teach me. Uh -huh. I tell them what's, uh, what you need to develop and then they tell me, Mom, can I, can I do this? Can I do that? Of course, I tell them, of course you can do that. You mm -hmm. have to explore, you have to experiment and you have to learn. If you made a mistake, then you learn how to get up. So, is there, such a, is there such a thing, Professor, as a, parang, a process by which one goes through because before one becomes a very good, uh, you know, uh, acclaimed uh, visual artist? Kasi, di ba, like for example, in other professions, kasi, when we talk about professions, you always start at the very bottom. Like for example, ikaw bago ka maging doktor, ay dadaan ka ng internship, ng clerkship, ah, yeah. ng specialty training, uh -huh. bago ka makarating doon sa tuktok na dapat mo marating. And yet, you need experience pa din, uh -huh. bago mo magawa yung dapat mong gawin. Sa inyo po ba, ganun din? Actually, in the arts, uh, nagsisimula rin kami what we call the foundation. We don't have board exam. But, Sa akin kasi, you have to challenge, like competition. Mm -hmm. You have to compete. You have to see if you're in the right track, if you've learned already, learned enough. But if you fail, I think you need to develop more. So, ganun din yun sa amin. And then we have to exhibit, we have to expose our mm -hmm. works, mm -hmm. ourselves. Not like, pag kunyari, uh, sabi natin, yung ibang profession, doctor, or may mga board exam siya, di ba? May mm -hmm. mga internship. We have also yung mga parang commission works. Mm -hmm. Collaborate, uh, collaborative works, we have to collaborate, socialize. Mm -hmm. So, ganun din yung process. But in our case, mag Is the exhibits, uh, the exhibits yes. one way of showing off your work? Of course. Uh -huh. Yes, you have to go out. Mm -hmm. I always tell my students, get out of the box or else nothing will, ano. Kung itatago mo lang oh, lahat ng mga products naman. Naman. Uh -huh. oh. what, what, what are the challenges that you believe or you think na meron tayong kinakaharap yung mga kabataan ngayon in terms of them embracing our culture as a baseline by which they will be able to mold themselves into the art? Actually, right now, it's the competition. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the Philippines, kasi, we need really support. Uh, we are not like in the other countries na binibigyan talaga ng support. Uh, siguro yun ang kulang sa atin, but fortunately, as time goes by, slowly naman, mm -hmm. nabibigyan. Uh, there are some galleries who are also helping mm -hmm. amateur artists, like exhibitions, mm -hmm. collaborative works. So, may mga ganun naman. And then, there are group works then mm -hmm. also na nagsusupport, like organizations, fundraising, mm -hmm. like you said a while mm -hmm. ago. So, na-encourage, na na-expose din yung artists. And then, because of social media then it's mm -hmm. a good help also. Bilis, ano? Yes. Kesa dati, na Kasi we are also yun. careful with uh -huh. social media. Uh -huh. Kasi sometimes, naano rin kami doon sa social media. We don't know how to stop. Mm -hmm. May kinokopya, ganun. So, there are some what you call the ethics also. Mm -hmm. So, you have Pero to, if, ano, if you if you are to compare the way our arts is going through now with that of our, say, other Asian brothers and sisters, or kaya sa international community, how are we? Actually, we are competing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, we are invited, like in Singapore, mm -hmm. mga Art Vinyled. We are, we have, mm -hmm. like, uh, I think we have Art Manila. Mm -hmm. So, nag-aano na rin tayo. nag na. It's mm -hmm. a good thing. Uh -huh. In uh, other we words, we are now recognized actually. Mas recognized na tayo. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, actually, some of our national artists is nabibigyan na in auction. Mm -hmm. Diba, nare-recognize yes. na rin tayo. At saka, ikinaganda nito, Professor, if you notice, meron ng mga, ano, yung mga materials ng damit. Yes. Na, uh, nandun yung mga ano natin, yung mga workmanships ng mga ating mga artists. Eh. Yeah, uh-uh. Uh -huh. Ah, the one that you are, ano, yes. like the national artist. Yes. yes oh, oh. So, ang ganda kung tingnan mo na kahit sa mga damit, kahit sa, you know, hindi lang painting siya sa napang-display natin, kundi kahit tayo, pwede nating suportahan yun by yes, wearing, oh. di ba? Yes, yeah, some, some nga is like bags. Mm -hmm. Yung ginagawa siyang design bags. And then shoes. Recently, I... I heard about this exhibition. Shoes naman yung paintings niya. Ginagawang shoe, shoe design. Ang ganda nga eh. Mm. So, nag, ano siya nag evolve Yung nakagandaan sa atin. At kahit, at kahit nga, professor eh, makikita mo, di ba? Yung minsan yung mga walls. Mm -mm. Aha, di ba? May mga areas na pinipaint talaga natin yan ng ating mga artists. 
for them to be able to depict ano ang culture meron tayo sa Pilipinas. I think they're starting that with our international airport also. If you notice, yeah. meron na sila, nagsisimula na sila. Mm -mm. So I, I think that's one way of encouraging our young artists to be able to put in kung ano yung nasa isipan nila. Actually, ang kagandahan din is yung history din natin mm -hmm. na ilalagay doon. Mm -hmm. And then, not only Filipinos can see it, only the fo and also the foreigners. So, uh, parang nakikita nila yung kagandahan, yung import importance ng ating kultura, mm -hmm. yung mga Pilipino. Nakikita din yung history natin before. Mm -hmm. Because of the street painting, yung sinasabi mm -hmm. mo, um, nakikita yung history natin, kung gaano kaganda yung kultura natin mm -hmm. doon. Maganda nga talaga dapat i-showcase natin our culture. Eh. Yeah. Kaya nga sinasabi natin, our heritage, our arts. Eh. Mm -mm. Kasi yun yung magpapatunay. Ano tayo bilang Pilipino? Mm -mm. Eh, professor, ano po ang inyong vision para sa inyong, you know, sa, sa art itself, sa visual arts, and for the arts, the Philippine arts itself? Ang sa akin kasi ang vision ko, pwede na tayong uh, makipag-compete din. Mm -hmm. I think we need to really support our artists, our, the Filipinos. Mm -hmm. Those uh, uh, artists, lalo na yung mga bago lang, mm -hmm. mga amateur artists, dapat suportahan natin sila. Mm -hmm. And then, tingnan din natin yung mga dapat natin i-develop pa. And then, uh, ano pa ba, uh, marami tayong magagawa pa eh. Mm -hmm. Hindi lang naman sa work of arts yan na makikita. Pwede nga sabi mo sa damit. Mm -hmm. Dapat i-develop natin to, uh, Tangkilikin natin yung sariling atin. Gusto ko yung sinabi mo, Professor. Tangkilikin natin yes. ang sariling atin. Oo. Kasi nga naman, di ba, for the longest time, eh, parang nakabaon mm -mm. yung ating kultura. Kailangan tayo maging proud. Uh -huh. Oo. Yung dapat uh, kailangan natin ipagmalaki sa ibang tao, mm -hmm. sa ibang bansa, na itong ating kultura ay kakaiba sa iba. Mm -hmm. At so, siya naman talaga ang magpapatunay kung ano ang Pilipino. Di ba? Opo. Uh -huh. Yan, kakaiba siya eh. Tayo lang ang meron ito. Uh -huh. So, dapat tulungan natin ang bawat isa uh -huh. para ma-develop ang ating sariling bayan, ang yes. ating kultura. Yes. Ano po ang inyong mensahe, Professor, sa ating mga tagapagpanood ngayon? Uh, ang akin lang isang mensahe sa ating mga nanonood sa Dynamic Living is kailangan suportahan natin ang ating mga amateur artists, especially mga estudyante natin, mga magulang. Kailangan uh, wag natin silang iiwan Suportahan natin kung ano yung gusto nila. Mahali natin ang sariling atin. At lagi natin huwag kakalimutan ang ating kultura. Mm -hmm. Kasi ito ay iisa lang. At dapat natin ipagmalaki sa ibang bayan, mm -hmm. sa ibang bansa. Okay. Cultural heritage is actually a gift from our forefathers. And it is something that we as Filipinos should be proud of. And even in the Bible, in Psalm 119, it says, Your statutes are my heritage, the joy to my heart. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. If you have been blessed by this program, share hope and help us continue to bring hope everywhere. Send your donations to South Philippine Union Conference through any of the bank details shown here. Hope Channel. Sharing love, changing lives. Go. Luna tadi tak bawa pulang, ni isak up layer nak. Kini bawa, tapi nak silam. Apa ni bawa? Ia nak mengadu gaya bayi tu salah gud kau ras. Kamu lo pemang kau bahasa ani ngali brugau. Bapa kau studik ayu nak. Kira naik kat tengah nabi tahu kak. Mungkin, bisa mager isak up page dia. Ada kami kapan ngabli? Brugau, kamu lo biasa setong maista ani ngah subjek. Segi biasa kata kau quizzes. Ingin pakai isak ngah magandam tapi mi. Sus. Kau lo biasa mana kapamino kau selection ni mam. Just ikaw ba? Bet kay ka? Ito kayo. Madumduman yung mga tanan. Sige, sige, sige. Sara ko lang sa... Okay, class. Get your workbook. We're gonna have a quiz. Hindi na ginimayo ba ikaw ng... Isa ko mapya sa inyo ha, magtuon sa ako. Unsa? Ano man? Dula sa taba ka, isa lang. Ato na ta, Garta. Nag-text sa si Francis. Pwede daw siya makapil. Ta, 
Sige, sige, ang ping mo ko. Open it on page 365. At doon na ka ba'y buot masayran sa kinabuhi? At doon na ba'y kagawasan sa sala o kasakit? May paglaong pa ba ang mga minatay? Unsabay padulngan sa kalibutan. Mga higala, ipangutana kay pastor. Ipadala ang imong mga pangutana ug tubago ni pastor gamit ang Biblia. Pangutana pastor, usa ka serbisyo gidalit kaninyo gikan sa Hope Channel.